good morning. I've got the zebra stripes. The sun's coming in through the blinds. Should have some rainbows soon. You know, goodness, my internet keeps flipping on and off, so I hope maybe you can hear me. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get my coffee going, and then I'm gonna tell you about something that I was thinking, oh, people know this. I don't need to talk about this. And then I thought, well, maybe there are some people where what I'm gonna talk about is outside of their experience. Let's see here. Maybe we'll get some rainbows going. Okay, so um, I'm going to make here, well, <laughs> I've got to fill this up again, don't I? I'm going to make a double espresso Chiaro, which is 2.7 ounces. Hopefully that'll get going. Oh! This is one of the reasons people watch live videos, because you never know what's going to happen. Like the person doing the video may get distracted by their own talking and forget to put the cup <laughs> under where the coffee's going to come out. Oh my goodness. Okay. That got the blood flowing, I'll tell you. Okay, this is what I was going to tell you about. Because it, this may be outside of your experience. For example, if you have never flown in an airplane, then this will be outside your experience. Or maybe you've just never had this experience on an airplane. So my daughter and I, oh, one of my daughters and I were traveling from Georgia to Ohio. And it was a gloomy November day. We are going to Ohio around Thanksgiving time or might have been Christmas time. And, oh, you know, just leaden sky, gray, thick, heavy rain. It was a very gloomy kind of a day. And we took off in the plane. And then all of a sudden we're going through the clouds and we are in bright sunlight, blue sky, intensely blue sky, you know, with some white clouds around above the clouds we had just broken through, but you know, pretty white poofs of clouds. It was totally different atmosphere. And what I wanted to say is, you know, the way things appear to you in a particular moment, if you feel kind of down, just on the other side of that could be great happiness. You don't have to, in a sort of uh, figuratively, not literally, but figuratively, you can use, you can break through that, what seems to be a ceiling of dull, heavy, gray clouds into the blue sky and sunshine. And you can do that just by making a decision to find something happy to think about or get up and do something different than what you've been doing about some things that you're grateful for or reach out to somebody else. I know I'm always talking about this sort of thing about whether you choose positive or negative, happiness or unhappiness. Got my coffee stirred. Mm. This is good. And, and warm it up just a little bit more in the microwave because I did have quite a bit of milk in there. Let's see, we'll try 15 seconds. So anyway, listen, you have a choice about how you feel. Okay. Sometimes you need to exert a little effort, just like that plane had to, to get some height 
to be able to reach that sky and break through those clouds, but it's something that you can do. Okay, you really can. You don't have to be trapped in the doldrums and feeling down. Oh, hey, Kevin. Good morning. Hey, if you're watching, I see there's other people watching too, but I'm so sorry my internet keeps going in and out. Um, we had some rain yesterday, and that seems to be typical in my apartment complex that when it rains, the... Uh, connections don't always connect the way they should anyhow do you have things to be happy about do you maybe need to write them down against where you may be feeling down and you can't think of anything to be happy about you know it's okay to have a little happiness list so that you can look at it and you go oh yeah no, I forgot about that. Oh, yes, I am. I'm grateful for that. So I'm going to sit and drink my coffee and have some breakfast. And I hope to find some happy thoughts today in case you're underneath those gray clouds so you can break on through to the sunshine. God bless you.